put in your hand. I can feel the lever at the bottom. Good luck. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the council and to part four of our playthrough of episode three. That's four away. I could just go one, two, three, four. I think we're going to do that. We'll, we'll, we'll find a way to get politics. We'll find a way to get questioning. Let's not worry about it. Let's validate. We have leveled up psychology to the max, which if I have kept the right Hillsboro alive is an excellent skill to have. Reassure me, we aren't going to have to force that one, are we? I don't think we're even capable of doing it. You're going to have to find a way to open it. Why, of course. And what's inside? Something to vanquish them with? Perfect. So, how does it open? We'll need several keys. I found a note from the architect who conceived the mechanism in Mortimer's secret study. We have to first gather six objects before we try anything. Are your six objects the keys? Exactly. We have the Clement III cross, the nails, the Gutenberg Bible, the exegesis of Judas, an armillary sphere, and all we need to match up the dates between the different calendars. Ha! Huh. Okay, guys. So at the end of the last episode, our mom showed us this. I had no idea what it is, but it's clearly a secret door. The nails, I know where they are. Those are in Mortimer's study in the back room. The Clement III Cross, the Gutenberg Bible. The Gutenberg Bible. I think I know where that is. Let's ask about all of it. I know this can be a little tedious, but let's let's ask. An exegesis. Anything else? Hmm. You... Did you manage to vanquish the Medusa? To open the chimney? Yes, absolutely. So you've already come across it. It's the Bible of Judas that is exposed in the secret room behind the chimney. Why do they call it an exegesis? Because that's what it is, and not an apocryphal Bible, strictly speaking. It's the study of a text with a summary, not an actual Bible. Anyway, well done for the Gorgon. You did well. You didn't get tricked by the light bouncing back. Thanks. Do you think I can take it safely? We haven't got a choice, Louis. Without it, we won't be able to work out this cursed mechanism. Okay, so in his study. That's in his, that's in his trophy room. This is in the secret room behind his office. Some nails? Don't ask me. I'm not the one who made the mechanism, you know. When I arrived, there were already a few of them inserted, so I didn't have to worry about those. On the other hand, I remember seeing some in Mortimer's secret study, behind his nightmare. In a we golden cup? Yes. Yes, I saw them too. Perfect. It will be easy for you to find them then. You need three of them. Very well. You remember what to do about the rollers. 1191 to enter. And 6466 to exit. Of course. So I thought that's how she lost her hand. If this is the mechanism she lost her hand, she's been through here before. A cross. Why a cross? Well, I haven't the foggiest idea. But it just so happens that's what you are going to use to activate the mechanism. I found the one Mortimer kept. It belonged to Cardinal Guibert, better known by the name of Pope Clement III. Perfect. Where is it? Unfortunately, I've lost it. When I lost my hand, I went dashing out, and it must have fallen from my pocket. This is free. Remember, Mother, I I'm certain you can remember. Let me think. You were running? I was bleeding to death. You remember the pain? I thought I was going to faint. Yes, I remember. I don't think it can be far, can it? Would you have lost it outside? No, I don't think so. It must be in the area. I don't remember going up with it. Perfect. I'll search the crypt before leaving. Okay. I know where this There's is. one in the portrait gallery. That's right. You still believe it's in the tower room, don't you? I don't know. There is only one way to find out, though. Right. I shall go and see. And I don't have any idea what this is. It might have been another one of the strange items behind the nightmare, or it might have been in that trophy room. There's one in the portrait gallery. Yes, but oh, it's oh, enormous. Oh. If you don't want to have to go back and forth several times, then I suggest you get a smaller one. What did you do then? I didn't think I'd need one. I started without one, and I lost my hand before I did need one. And you can see the result. 
That is the thing I mentioned that reminds me of the intro of Game of Thrones. Uh, it looks like a solar system. An armillary sphere. I don't know where to find a small one, though. But the game will not the game will not leave us to look like idiots. We'll figure this out, guys. The game will guide us, I hope. What do you mean by the concordance of dates, exactly? Don't worry about that. We already have them. They are written on the back of the message I just gave you. Um, let's go. One last thing before you go. Be very careful. If you come across anyone, they can all potentially be spies of Mortimer or Holm. Don't ever confide in anyone because a demon can slip inside them at any moment. Wait, not all of them though. Take Washington. Especially Washington. He's been conditioned by Mortimer for years. Look at them for crying out loud. How do you explain their behavior otherwise? The most influential politicians in the Western world gather together without the least protection, without a single aid to assist them, to participate in a conference during which the guests start dropping like flies. Me, Adams, Peru, Hillsborough. Look at the number of calamities that have happened over the past few days. And not one of them has asked to leave the island? Do you find that normal? You'll see. Go up to the manor to look for the keys, and I wager not one of them will speak to you about my being in Emily's room. Do you think so? Go on, you'll see. And come back with all the objects in one go. Time is against us. And remember, the code to get out of the secret office is 6646. The stupid subtitles. Before it was saying, oh, you need six things. The subtitle said five. Now she's saying 6646, and that said 6466. I'll remember how to do it when we get up there, guys. Don't worry. Um, I don't know which option's right, the one she says or the one in the... the <laughs> The one in the uh, the thing, but we'll, we'll remind ourselves. It can't be that hard. Um, okay, and we have three more manuscripts to equip. So I will definitely do a cult. Now we have two for science, one for diversion, two for linguistics, logic, and agility. So we could do two here, two here. Logic and agility. Let's not worry about that. So let's go with two. Yeah, let's go with the two linguistics books, guys. Okay. And we're about to get into this. It's been a bit of a slow start, as always, when we end the screen we end at. Okay. Okay. That's five items plus the dates. My lord, you've finished improving the lock on your reinforced door. As agreed, you will need several items with which to open it. The Cross of St. Clement III. She got it and she dropped it somewhere in here. Some nails. We know where to get them. Gutenberg Bible. I know where that is. Okay. The X, and then we have no idea where to find that ar armillary sphere. It might be upstairs. The it might be in a room we have yet to get to. So the correspondence of dates with different calendars. Okay, on the, on the... Okay, so that's all done. That's all done. The dates are all done. I can't even understand what those words mean. So let's... Let's go. Anything else, Ma? No, that's it. Let's look here. Is this going to chop off my hand? <laughs> Let's see if I can work it out myself. It looks like a kind of control panel. Yeah, so we put the cross there. I don't know whether to spend these points, guys. Might as well. shaped slot there. I'd say you've got a place to claim all the third cross in it. Yeah, this is not useful for us. You know what? I'm not worried. Let's you ought leave. to go, Louis. If someone finds us here, the situation might well become seriously complicated. All right. So the one, the one person that we might want to talk to on our way out of here is is George. So this is the passageway, right? It might open into this or this. I wonder if we could get back to that pier. I don't know. Okay, so we got to have a look around this room. 
for the cross. Famous cross of Claymont the Third. Okay. Perfect. In one. Uh huh. Vigilance. He found. Okay, so now we go back. Um, I want to stop in the room that. Whoops, where, 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 through here. I want to stop in the room where the body originally was, and there were things in here to look at. Okay. Okay, we can pick this up. And her stuff, her things. Orangon. Is that a new book? Orangon. Aristotle. Okay, let's get... Let's get out of here. No? Idiot. Alright guys, well thank you for hanging with me. If you're enjoying the series, click the like button. I always forget to ask you to do that, and um, we're gonna continue the story, guys. I'm playing this all in one night. It's roll about 2 a.m., and I gotta be up early tomorrow, but I, I gotta finish this. I think I've played all of these in a single sitting, and I don't plan on stopping now. Alright, so that is an armillary sphere. We need a mini version of that. It won't be right here. I mean, we can look at this one, but this is not going to work. Right. It's definitely an armillary sphere, but I have to find one that I can take with me. Otherwise, I risk drawing too much attention to my comings and goings. Now, where can I find a smaller one? <laughs> like that's even possible to take this thing and get out of here? Okay, so we come back to this right. room. Let's see if the statues are in place yet. Uh, the lantern points at the shield. The shield reflects in the eyes of the sword. The, the beast always charges the, the most protected one. So... That statue is not positioned correctly. Uh, toward the shield. There, 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 there. Open sesame. Okay, this should be easy, guys. This. Huh. So that's Pandora's box? An urn? Mother seemed worried that I was able to open it. Hmm. I wonder why. So, I did well not to touch it. That was lucky. This is where our romance with Emily began. And I think that means we hooked up with both sisters. So that's the exegesis of Judas. I hope Mortimer doesn't read it very often. Otherwise, he's going to notice that someone's stolen it. But that's just too bad. I need it. Okay. I don't think anything else here is too important. Caesar's laurel wreath. Hmm. What about that pendant? Mortimer really is what my mother says he is. It could mean... No, that's impossible. No, no, not Caesar. There's that pendant. Okay. Yeah, imagine he's Caesar. And what is this supposed to be? A ring. The ring of the Nibelungs. Even if Mortimer is several centuries old, I don't see what part he has in this legend. Right. I've got what I need. Now let's not waste any more time. Are we about to be discovered? No. Okay, we did it. Smooth, guys. Smooth. Okay. Um, the nails and the... Okay. So the nails we will find by going all the way upstairs. So if I go here, we'll have to go upstairs and upstairs again. And the Gutenberg Bible is on that floor. So let's go right. Okay, okay guys, this is great. We got, I don't know about that armillary, armillary sphere. It, I wonder if you're not supposed to know about it or if I just have I failed to discover it up till this point. 
I mean, I've been through everyone's rooms. I've looked at every queue, every, um, every potential one of these. Ding. I've looked at all of them. Everything I've come across from the very beginning. And I have not found that item. So, but we're back on this floor. So, and we can test Mum's theory by talking to people, right? Von Volner. Let's take a very quick break, guys. I'm going to come back here right in a minute. Um, yeah. All right. And I think, uh, I don't think we must bother with Von Volner. I've been through his room. I don't think he'll be in there. Let's go up. Right on. Right. This time, it'll be a lot quicker. Will it? <laughs> if I remember rightly, the code was 1191. Right. Good. Thank you for making it easy there for me, Louie. I was gonna have to rack my dang brain. One. 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 And nine. All right, and this is the room that contains so many cool things. So many details, his plans, his insane... Everything's insane here. And this is the man who designed the lock in question. I assumed it was that lock. It definitely isn't. This is one of the most mysterious items we've come across. Huh. It looks like obsidian or, or onyx. It must weigh a ton. What on earth could that be? Right, and this is the man who designed the lock, Gustav, with a missing hand. How fantastic's that? See? Gustav, master architect of locks. Feathers. Pigeons, probably. There! Those are the nails I was looking for. I remember. Analyze them. I'm just gonna take them. Screw it! I noticed they were old and rusty. But... But I hadn't noticed these traces of... Could that be blood? Is it really the relic of the Holy Cross? I can hardly believe it. Exit. I can right. just exit? Come on. Let's get out of here. 6466, six, six, if I remember correctly. Okay, good. They're making it easy for us, guys. I don't want to get confused again. Okay, so to the tower room. And then what? How are we going to do that sphere? I really don't know. I don't know what I'm missing. Ooh, what's this back here? Anything? No. No, 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 no. Okay. All right. To the tower room for the Gutenberg Bible. It should still be there. I didn't look when we went in that room. I have a faint memory of looking over there. It's this room right here, right? Yes. Ah, Louis. Oh, Glad Lord. Glad you're here. Blasted. He's going to talk about my mother. Come and see what I've found. There are pieces of paper in the ashes of the chimney. Someone's been burning something here. Incredible. He doesn't seem to want to speak to me about what happened between my mother and the Hillsborough sisters. Show me a little. Look, it's possible to distinguish two different writing styles. Hmm. The rest of the correspondence between my mother and Emma. Someone tried to burn an exchange of messages. I'm certain there must be more. Shit. What on earth is he doing? Uh, do we know about Georgie Boy and his his manipul his things that we can use to manipulate him? Nothing. So what we're gonna do here is burn our last devil's thorn. Good. Let's do this. Ah, I see. I know what it's about. 
Do you know who was doing their communicating in this room? Yes, but of course we must keep it to ourselves, because it is still a sensitive matter. Volner and Elizabeth had an affair. Volner hinted that he'd found a way to remain discreet about it. I admit it is ingenious. Well, I would never have guessed. Delighted to have helped, but I still have to find my mother. Of course. We shall see each other later in that case. I wasted enough time. The Bible. Good lord, George. You're stressing me out, dude. What are you doing in here? And why didn't he talk about what happened there? Mom was right. Oh, the Bible's still there. Okay. Now what? An armillary sphere. I literally have no idea where to go to find this. Tower room. No. Peru. No. Bonaparte. No. Godoy. No. N -n no. 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 Let's go here. Let's let's do a very quick. It could be. And I've missed it. If anyone would have it, he makes some sense that it might be here. He's because he's so into the occult and alchemical. Oh yes! In your An armillary sphere. Face von Volner. That will save me some time. I only hope that he isn't going to realize it right away. Okay. Yeah, baby. Oh, baby, this is fantastic. I think we're coming to the end of, of this chapter, I believe. Back into the gardens. I can find my way to the center of this maze so easy now, guys. You got no idea. I'm so skillful. So good at mazes. Easy. Easy. Skills. Yep, perfect. I actually did do it. I, I, was, <laughs> I, was, I was faking it there. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. So that, that was just like a fetch quest. That was pretty easy. That was not too hard to handle. We checked all this. No more surprises. Mom? So, good. You've managed to gather all the keys. Yes, that's right. I have everything. What should I start with? Place the Clement III cross on the console. Then you have to put the nails on the disc of the door. What theme did you start with? As the fresco shows the birth of Christ, I placed one nail in Bethlehem, one in chapter two, and one in verse six. The iris opened a little. I thought it was normal. Behind the aperture of the iris, there is a duct in which I put my hand. I felt something like a valve at the bottom. I thought by turning it the door would open, or the iris would open completely, or something else would happen. Instead, I felt something like an axe cut off my hand. I really thought it was the end of me. What did you do then? Well, although I had made some unfortunate choices, I was lucky in that Mortimer was well stocked with drugs. I raided his supplies of medicine. Hmm. All right, my turn now. Go ahead, impress me. I'll shut up and let you concentrate. I should have asked her one more question. What hole should I put the nails in? Well, I can't really advise you there, because I haven't exactly made the best choices myself. All I can say is that you have to insert one to choose a town, one to choose a chapter, and one to choose a verse. Those are Roman numerals on the disc. The answer might be in these books right here. I'm going to hope. Let release me. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Okay, back. I'm. Uh oh. Uh oh, guys. I'm, I'm literally stuck here. Okay, thank the Lord. Okay, so, we do have two books to read. This exegesis contains comments from Judas on the different Gospels. It only contains certain chapters and verses, and the chapters are indicated by Roman numerals. The lexicon refers to different chapters and verses from the exegesis of Judas. Mm-hmm. Wow. 
chapter 24, verse 3. Jesus rose from the dead on the 14th of Nisan, 3,793, in Nazareth. He appeared with a halo above his head. Okay, so I do not think that's right. That's about the resurrection. So... Which one? She did Bethlehem, right? You know what? Um, okay, so for the moment, let's do what we know how to do. I don't know what happens the with this. The cycle of the moons has nothing to do with what I'm doing right now. Hmm. Cross is stuck in the mechanism. I can't do anything. That's perfect. That's fine. And then over here we have what? Nothing. Honey, do I have five of those? Take one. Hmm, it looks like there are three types of inscriptions. Okay. One. That's a plus one. Why? In addition, so that's two, that's one, that's three. Yeah. Clearly, we have names of towns, Arabian numerals, and Roman numerals. These towns have one thing in common. They're all related to the life and death of Jesus. For example, Jordan is the place of the baptism of Christ. Right. Find out how it works. There, there are three styles of writing and I've got three nails. There must be a link. I must surely put in one nail per category. Oh, that was such a waste. Obviously, dude. I hate those ones. Let's do this. Uh... The fresco clearly shows the birth of Christ. Louis, I can assure you that that is not the solution to this enigma. This fresco's only purpose is to mislead. I know that now. Please, focus on another theme about Christ. We'll have to trust her. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking, guys. We have the cross, we have the nails. Maybe it's about the crucifixion. Why is that another point? Didn't I just do this? Oh, oh, okay. Let's do this, it's probably gonna be a waste, if but- Mortimer deliberately set a trap by showing the birth of Christ. Yes, then maybe I agree. the solution is the contrary. The death of Christ in that case? Okay, we're gonna take this. Um, you know what? Um, notice the details. You could see that the paint has come off in parts. Difficult to see what was there, but I can distinguish the letters N R I. Nothing more. N R I. You could see that the paint has come off in parts. Difficult to see what was there, but I can distinguish the letters N R I. Nothing more. Like the initials? The acronym. We're gonna have to do we're gonna have to do this. Occultism linguistics. Which ones are we better with? Is it is there any actual difference? Uh uh linguistics. We're level one. Occultism, we're level one. Mm-hmm. Doesn't matter. Why, of course. They're part of the initials I-N-R-I that you can find on the cross of Jesus right. at his crucifixion. Good. Okay, so we're right. So it is the crucifixion, and this has been painted over. Can we see details of the crucifixion underneath that initial painting? I don't see the letters NRI anywhere, but let's 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 go ahead. Um, we're gonna go back to the Bible. 
we are going to uh right right here we're going to go themes crucifixion Chapter 19 verse 17 jesus was crucified on the 8th of Nisan, 3,793, in a place near Jerusalem, the Romans put a crown of thorns on his head. I'm d sorry, guys. I know Chapter this. Chapter 19. Just want to go through this. Verse 17. Because I'm Jesus gonna lose my hand. <laughs> on the 8th of Nisan, 3,793, in a place near Jerusalem, the Romans put a crown of thorns on his head. Okay, so that's from the exegesis. Near Jerusalem. Chapter 19, verse 17. And he, bearing his cross, went forth into a place called the place of a skull, which is called in the Hebrew Golgotha, where they crucified him and two others with him on either side, and Jesus in the midst. Okay, so we're going to go with Gol Golgotha 19.17. Okay, so am I crazy? Golgotha is here, but it's not one of the ones listed in the book. The book has Nazareth, Beth. Okay, so we get Nazareth, Bethesda, Bethlehem, Abu Ghosh, Jerusalem, Jordan, Golgotha. So there's seven. How many are here? And is it interesting that Golgotha is missing? So we got Abu Ghosh. Jordan is not on the clock. Bethlehem, Bethesda, Abu Ghosh are. Jerusalem is yeah a bunch of these aren't okay so I think I know what we want to do I think I know what we want to do <laughs> uh... insert the nails Golgotha and then Nineteen, seventeen. Yes. Okay. Good job, me. Thank you for being patient with me, there, guys. This is going to it get works. More well done, Louis. More complex. I haven't seen those other wheels. Try connecting the theme to see if it goes all the way. Okay. There must surely be a connection between the wheels. I uh, analyze the wheel of the moons. Right. Okay, so we've got moons on the outside. No, on the inside. Right. And then 1A, 3J, 26M, 6M. This is strange. And then on the outside we have symbols. So let's start on the outside. Good different icons on this wheel, but it looks like some of them can't be connected to the other wheels. Mmm. Right. The bird of peace doesn't line up. The dove. Nor does that, that kind of Celtic looking one to the right. Mother, what do you think? As I told you, I didn't get that far. Nevertheless, these icons do represent moments in the life of Christ. Okay. The number of icons. So sometimes you can get a clue here. She's given us that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Okay. This wheel contains several symbols made up of one or two figures and one letter. The highest figure does not exceed 31, and each letter corresponds to a month of the year. A for April, and M for March. I think these symbols must represent a specific date. Okay. And then the moons? This wheel represents the different moons. In the occult sciences, we represent the full moon by an X. As for the dark moon, called the new moon, in cults, it's, well, it's often associated with something harmful. Full moon by an X. 
The dark moon, also called the new moon, is associated with something harmful. Look at this. There are notches between each of the wheels. So, I have to link the name of the town from the theme I've chosen to an icon, then to a date, and finally, the date to the moon. Right. So, what are our symbols? We're going to back up again, okay? Oh, I almost did put your hand in. Is there a symbol there at the bottom, under the blood? So we have Jesus... It would be the crown of thorns would represent the crucifixion. The crown of thorns, and we're going to get the date, and we're going to use the, the armillary to do the moons, I think. So what we're going to do real quickly here, we're going to go back to these passages about the crucifixion. Chapter 19, verse and the 17. dates will matter. Jesus was crucified on the 8th of Nisan, 3,793, in a place near Jerusalem. The Romans put a crown of thorns on his head. Right. The 8th of Nisan. Okay, okay, okay. Right. This is straightforward, guys. 14 Nisan is the same as uh, April 1st, 33. We are six days before that. So then March... 31st, 30th, 29, 28, 27, 26. March 26th is, is M26 an option? M2633 equals 8 Nissan. Right. March 26, 33. March 26. There's an M26 here, right? 26M. What about the moon? So 26M with the thorn and the crown of thorns. But what are we lining up with? Golgotha? Let's do this now. I hope this isn't too complex, guys. I'm kind of keeping my... I'm kind of making sense of things. During new moon, the moon is entirely in the shadow. Then... The shadow moves from west to east, meaning left to right, and goes through the following states. Waxing crescents, first quarter, waxing gibbous, full moon, waning gibbous, last quarter, waning crescent, and the cycle starts over with the full shadowed new moon. What would it have been? What would it have been on March 26, 33? which was the same as 13 Shaban 607. 13th of Shaban, 607, Waxing Gibbous. So Waxing Gibbous, which is... Nope. Waxing Gibbous. The moon shadow moves from west to east. Okay. Oh, During see, new moon, yeah, yeah. the moon is entirely in the shadow. Then, the shadow moves from west to east, meaning left to right, and goes through the following states. Waxing crescents, first quarter, waxing gibbous, full moon, right before a waning full moon. Gibbous, last quarter, waning crescent, and the cycle starts over with a full shadowed new moon. Right before a full moon. So, whichever one is before the full moon... So, so that, no moon, waxing, then first quarter, then, so it's the one that's in the, lined up with 17F. Okay. I think I can do this. We have, um, so I think we have to line up with Golgotha. Right. Then one of these. And then...
Let's see what combination corresponds to the chosen theme. This is it. I just don't know what to line up with. It has to be Golgotha. Guess the right date, guess the right moon. Let's do this. Oh, no. I feel good. I'm gonna stick my hand in this. Okay? Uh, let's take a very quick break. And I'm gonna stick my hand in this, and then we're gonna see what the hell happens next, okay? Whew. There's no choice. It's time for me to lose my hand. I hope I put my left in. We're gonna be stuck here for a second, as happened last time. I think I've lined it up. Golgotha. Crown of Thorns. March 26th. Waxing Gibbous. And... Put in your hand. I can feel the lever at the bottom. Good luck. This is it, guys. Okay, guys. I got all the keys. I found her cross. I unlocked the first wheel. And then I got my arm cut off by the mechanism. Should I have double checked those moons? Let me know in the in the comments what I did wrong. I, want, I should have looked at the moons one more time. Um, guys, I'm pretty sure that does it. That does it for episode three of the council, and we did it in four parts this time, albeit close to an hour. Thank you so much for hanging out. Um, I'm sorry I got my arm cut off. Uh, I'm sorry I let Peru die. I think I let the right Hillsboro die, but I really don't know, guys. I really don't know. If you're enjoying this, I hit me up in those comments, and I will be back when episode four releases. My best guess is the middle of September, maybe the end of September. So I will be playing this again. If you have somehow missed episode one and two, links for those are popping up on your screen right now, as well as a link to the playlist for episode four, if and when it's available. Until it is, there won't be anything there except a Patreon logo. Um, but that does it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Another epic uh, endeavor, another epic episode of The Council. I really liked it. I thought that might be the best one yet. A lot of blabbing playlists on your screen patreon logo on your screen and if we got it a link to the playlist for the next part of the story we'll see you next time